Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got this vintage Armatron two-tone dial, really three-tone when you look at it. It's got the blue outer knot type near the bezel, uh, the green in the middle, and the darker, darker blue-green kind of a gradient there along the edge. White hands, second hand date function, cool old vintage watch. Now this one really needs a drastic cleanup, but we're just going to see if we can get this running real quick. Uh, you can see the metal has really uh, become worn back here. Uh, let's just get a snap tool in here and see if we can snap this back off. There we go, pretty easy. I should put a towel down, but uh, I just want to see if we can get this one running. Um, looks like this uses a 371 battery. So we're going to go ahead and take this. It's going to be hard for you to see with the band in the way, but we're going to take this uh, spacer out. It goes back in like that, lines up with a crown right there. This covers the battery. So looking at this battery, I think it says 370, 371. So let's get in our mix here and see if we can find our 371 batteries. And right here we are, 371 batteries. I get those on Amazon, super cheap, kind of in bulk and, and multi-packs. Check out the link below. Add a couple pennies to the channel that way. No extra cost to you. Oh, look at the dirt in there. Yeah, this thing's really going to need a cleaning. We, we may do a cleaning video on this one. I'm not sure. It's it's not. It's just kind of your average average wash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spring bar tool and I'm just going to get it in there and try to pop this battery out. Uh, it is held in by the spring tension. Uh, there we go. We got that one out. And then we're going to go ahead and pop one under this lip right here. If we can, it's going to take us a second to get that all lined up. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so you can see. But yeah, there we go. So we get it under that lip. Uh, and then you can see the spring tension on this side. So if you see that spring tension right there, that one moves back out of the way I can push it with my spring bar tool that's what we need to get moved back out of the way to hold the battery in place so let's see now I apologize you're probably not going to be able to see this very well but we're going to pop that back since I don't have four hands and there our battery is in place so that little piece right here sits on top of that battery and we have second hand movement. So we'll go ahead and put it back together. Just a quick battery change today, guys, uh, how I do that. And again, it's hard to see when you can't, you know, when you don't have multiple, multiple, multiple hands, meaning more than two. Uh, so then when you put the back on, again, look for the notch. There's a notch in it right here. And that goes on the crown side. So you don't crush down your, your stem and then sometimes you have to use your watch press to get these back on. Sometimes you can do it well enough just by putting the towel, towel down and trying to put equal pressure on it. So this one, it's going to need a watch back. So I got a video on that if you want to see that. But hey, we're good and we're running. Um, we're going to pause for a second and get this back on. Okay, guys, we've got the back on. Pretty easy with that watch snap press tool. Um, Let's get that cleaned off a little bit because that bugs me. But so what we're doing, it says it's the sixth on here, and today is the sixth. So let's uh, let's go backwards for fun and see if we can get it to turn back to the fifth, so we know where we're on AM and PM. And it's not going to do that. So let me go in one and see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move it to the fifth because we want to get to the day before if today's the sixth. Okay, and then we're going to pull that. So basically, the crown setting on this one, pull it out once, it's the date function. Pull it out twice, it's the time function. And now, we just went past midnight. See how our date changed to the 6th? So we just went past 12. We're at like 12.27 now. So we are in the a.m. It's like 7, 7.25 a.m. So we're going to go to 7 on 
there we go, 7 o'clock and then 25 on the 6th. So now we know we're in AM because we just passed midnight, if that makes sense. I have a whole video on setting these watches uh, with a date function. You can check that out on the channel. Uh, but that's all we have for today, guys. We're going to clean this up maybe in another video and get it going. Thanks.